This is a story about a recently deceased man called Patrick Saunders. Patrick was 87 years of age and he went into hospice care. And his wish, one of his final wishes, was to see a horse for one final time. Yes, and that so is the horse. That is the horse. So the, the staff at the care home there, at the hospice, arranged this for him. This is Victor, the horse. Uh, he visited him and to grant him his final wish. Uh, sadly, Patrick passed away three days after that meeting, but all the staff say he was so happy and I think, um, seeing the horse. I think Patrick's dad was called Victor as Patrick, well. well yeah, I mean, amazing coincidence. His father used to work with horses, yeah. and so Patrick used to help his dad, and his dad was called Victor, and the horse was called Victor. Amazing. Well, by satellite. <laughs> Let's go to Cathy Waddingham. Cathy is from the North Devon Hospice, and there's Patrick's daughter, Jane Hayes. Jane, our condolences to you, but isn't it lovely we can talk about your dad in such a, a fond way with such a, a, a lovely final wish? What, what difference did this visit from Victor the Horse make to him? Oh, it was just amazing. He, he brightened up that day so much. I just can't say how thankful we were for it because he'd been just so poorly and it just made everything into a positive rather than what was obviously a very negative situation. I just can't believe how, how he lifted that day just because of Victor. Um, that was his last good day and he really went down, downhill in the last few yeah. days after that. Well, we're so, so it was sorry, wonderful. But he, we're, watching, we're looking wonderful. at the pictures now, Jane, and the smile on his face, seeing that horse is just well, a picture. Ca Cathy, <laughs> how, did, how on earth did you arrange yeah. this? Well, it was my colleague and myself, Mandy, who um, Victor had been looking from the balcony at the hospice, from his bedroom, um, and he can see the North Devon Equine rescue place from where he was, and he'd talked about the horses. So my friend Mandy said, let's see if we can get a horse to come up and meet Victor, meet Patrick, sorry. <laughs> so Victor was brought up amazingly that very day. Um, and it was an incredible experience. Well, Cathy, um, yeah, obviously wonderful. we see Victor now <laughs> in the background with his, with his handler. Can you, can you beckon? If you guys are happy, can we get Victor a bit closer to camera, maybe? And um, who's, his, who's his handler? Who have we got? That's Annabelle. Annabelle. That's Annabelle with, with Victor, the horse. Oh. And actually, Cathy, um, I understand Patrick, you know, he, he was not feeling terribly well the day that Victor visited, and that's why you had to actually wheel him out in his bed. How much did he pick up when he saw Victor? We did. Just phenomenally, just amazing. His, the smile on his face, as you see on the video, were incredible. He checked Victor's teeth to make sure they were all intact, <laughs> and it was just a wonderful moment. It really was very special for all of us, very special. Now, uh, Victor um, was actually... Uh, what's, the, what's the story behind Victor the horse? Does, does anybody know where Victor came from? Where did Victor come where from, Where did Victor Annabelle? come from, Annabelle? <laughs> He came from Paynton. So Paynton, he came from? He's a Devon horse. Uh, he was a rescue, yes. He yeah. was a rescue oh, he's, he's to the a rescue. North Devon yeah. horse. Well, that, that, that's yeah. amazing yeah, it's as from, well. It's an equine yeah. rescue centre, yeah. not, not very far from there. And Jane, Jane, tell us about your dad and his association with horses. Well, he, he was born um, onto a farm in Yardley in the middle of Birmingham, which the ground is gone, but the farm's still there. And his father, Victor, ran a horse riding stables and my mum when she was 15 went there to learn to ride and my dad taught her oh, so that's yeah. how they met yeah. and uh, they had some fantastic horses there's only one picture unfortunately I've got of mum on a horse but uh, nobody had cameras back then so we it's not like today how, you don't you don't have the records how you know, much but no how much comfort did it give you Jane knowing that something so joyous happened for your, for your father before he did pass away Ah, oh, it, it was just amazing. I mean, it is an amazing place anyway. Before I came in with my father here, I'd had nothing to do with the hospice and it was always something I, I you know, really didn't want to think about. But coming here, it was such a positive thing. The staff was, were wonderful. My father was kept comfortable and happy. It was amazing and it made 
you know, well, well done, Kathy. Well what done. was very negative. Yeah. And well done, well everybody done, at North everyone. Devon Hospice yeah. as well. Well done, Victor and his handler, Annabelle, oh. there today.